Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up Alright, everybody, what, what is up? How are we? I'm doing pretty good. Today, today guys, I'm just going to do a one take, uh, one take sort of video. I'm just going to talk briefly about the last three weeks. Exactly how, you know, I've, I've got the results I have, how I've structured my nutrition throughout the day um, to keep me on track and just basically I'll give you my macros of course, calories, etc. So first of all I just want to say that I have I've been really proud I've been really proud of myself these last uh, three weeks. I really have stuck to the diet. And you know I sort of I could see that coming because like I've been complaining probably for the last few months, you guys are probably sick of me by now, my appetite was was really shit. It was suffering. And you know I knew deep down that I was in a headspace that was more so pointed towards cussing and getting a little bit leaner, getting in better shape, rather than trying to keep pushing my weight and keep bulking up. So that's exactly what I did. Three weeks ago I decided to flick the switch in my head and start cutting. So the first four days um, I really, really depleted myself because I was in such a motivated mood. So I went right down to like 2000 calories, which is far too low. And you know, my, my workouts were suffering, I was feeling really flat and depleted and really hungry of course. You know, going from 4,000 calories a day down to 2,000 is, um, is quite a jump. So, but with that said, you know, I was still doing it. It was fine, I was motivated, it's fine. So, it was quite hard to actually raise my calories up and make myself eat a bit more, but I did. So, honestly, uh, from there we probably went up to about 2,500 calories for the first week. And that, it, that's pretty much how it stuck throughout the following three weeks. So if you look at it by the numbers, you know, I don't believe that a calorie is a calorie anymore, I really don't, but if you do look at it by the numbers, um, being in a 1500, well, you know, what, what was my maintenance? My maintenance is probably about 3500 calories. So being in a caloric deficit of 1000 calories a day plus physical exercise is going to put you in a great position to lose fat. And by the numbers, being in, being in a caloric deficit by 1,000 calories per day, at the end of the week, that's going to be 7,000 calories that you're in deficit by. Apparently, that is a kilogram of fat. So, if we're looking at the numbers, I'm going to weigh in this morning. I don't know exactly what I'm going to weigh in. I think it's going to be something around about the 100 kilo mark. I haven't eaten anything yet. I think 2 kgs of that is water weight because my carbs are, are pretty low at the moment and 3 kilograms hopefully would be body fat that I've lost. So 3 weeks, 3 kgs of body fat lost, I am absolutely stoked and there's only one reason why it's happened guys and that's because I've stuck to the plan, I've stuck to it, finally. You know I was talking to my friend the other day, uh, a girl that actually competed with me at the WBFF show, she's from Alice Springs, she was the one that actually motivated me to do it and you know I was telling her I was laughing because even when I was in prep mode, hardcore, I still wasn't sticking to my diet as well as I have these last three weeks. So, you know, I was just like, why the fuck did I not have this mindset back then? But I know why. It's because I've been dieting for fucking 20 weeks before that. And you get sick of it. You do. Whatever you're doing, bulking or cutting, you're going to get sick of it eventually. And that's just the kind of guy I am, I guess. But regardless of that, you know, this, this has been a mini cut. Um, it's not going to continue. I'm going to Thailand in two days and um, you know I don't know how my nutrition is going to be over there but I assume you know I'm not going to put on any fat. If anything I'm going to come back a bit smaller, a little bit deflated because I haven't trained too much and I'm just going to try and keep my protein up. So with that said I'm going to run through my macros for the first three weeks or for the last three weeks and uh, let's Let's just have a look. Just, just out of interest, you know, uh, my macros are not going to be the same as yours should be. In fact, you definitely shouldn't be copying my diet completely. But I'll run through the calories and macros, then I'll give you a bit of a rundown on how I structure my day as far as my meal timings and stuff. And then, what am I going to do? Nothing. That'll be it. So, macros. 
I started on the 24th of March for that week at the end of the week my average protein was 223 my average carbs was 216 and my average fats was 66 with an average caloric intake of 2359 so that is that's an ideal week man honestly so happy with that the second week protein average was 206 carbohydrates 233 and fats was 96 so fats was quite high uh, protein was about right carbs probably about right to be honest um, I don't want to deplete myself too much of carbs because they are quite important to maintaining your performance in the gym and so people going on keto diets and stuff you know they do work but fuck you're gonna feel flat and it's like how long can you actually push through like that not that long I don't think so anyways that was the second week total calories per day was 2694 and the last week just gone Protein average 248, sorry, yeah, 248, carbohydrates 242, and fats was 87. So it's actually, it's quite high to be honest. Um, what are the calories for that one? Last week, calories on average 2749. So my calories have actually crept up a little bit each week, but um, because, you know, these are the first three weeks. Uh, I'm still in a pretty heavy deficit. So that's how I've done it, guys. Um, we've shaped up, that's how the macros have been. Now the protein amount for that last week is actually a little bit off because I've probably got about 100 grams worth of protein in the fridge. So average protein, probably about 220, not 240. So anyways, as far as how I've structured it, um, I did talk previously about how I use caffeine or coffee in the morning to blunt my appetite. Um, I've been doing that every single morning so you know I'll go to work or whatever I'll have a coffee and that will that will tie me through to about 11 or 12 uh, with me to work I take a few tins of tuna usually a couple of bananas maybe some Greek yogurt with some protein powder um, or possibly you know some some sort of meat that I can eat you know, it's, it's, it's different little things of food. I don't really make meals at the moment. I just sort of have little snacks throughout the day, but I make sure that, you know, they're protein based, sort of low fat, etc. So on an average day, for example, yesterday, all right, went to work, got there at seven o'clock, smashed a coffee, had another one at probably about 10, and that took me through to about 12 o'clock. Now by 12 o'clock, because I'm dieting at the moment, I am feeling quite depleted. You know, it, it's, you are suffering a little bit. So I get to 12 o'clock, I have my first meal, which is two tins of tuna and a banana. Keep going throughout the day, drink heaps of water throughout the day, you know, BCAAs, I'll probably have about 10 grams worth of BCAs every day, so that's 10 grams of protein that I add on, um, and it makes my water taste nice, so I'm probably drinking about four liters of water a day, uh, which is pretty normal for me, but anyway, so a light lunch, um, and then I'll push through till probably about three or four, and I'll have another meal and then you know I'll be thinking shit alright well I'm gonna train at probably 7.30 or 8 tonight so I'm either gonna have that meal at 4 and see how I feel before I train I'll probably get to about 6 o'clock if I'm feeling quite depleted and hungry still I will have something else possibly a couple of bananas maybe another tin of tuna um, a sandwich possibly you know not much on it just two pieces of bread maybe some peanut butter something like that just to keep me going and give me a little bit of you know, food in my stomach is not so much giving me energy, it's actually just like making my stomach feel satiated um, and not hungry throughout the workout. The last thing you want is to actually feel physically hungry throughout the workout. I think that's horrible. Uh, certainly takes away from, from the, you know, it certainly takes away from what you're actually trying to do, which is lift heavy weights. So, yeah, two or three small meals before I train. After I train, I come home and I'll have the majority of my calories. I'll make a shake, egg whites, once again, egg whites, berries, protein powder, and that's usually about it, high in protein. And by that point, my protein's probably been hit for the day, you know, 200, 220 grams. Um, and then I can just sort of eat a few carbs and fats throughout the night. And 
wake up the next morning do it again. So 2,500 calories per day, that's how I'm doing it. Two or three small meals before I train, one or two big meals after I train, lots of water throughout the day, coffee in the morning, pre-workout at night, and that's it. And here we are. So tomorrow, I'm going to give you guys a physique update. But I definitely don't want to give you guys. I definitely don't want to give you guys one right now because I'm feeling flat. I've just woken up. I haven't had a pump. I've got no food in me. Um, yes, my midsection would be looking as best as possible, but things like my shoulders and my arms and that um, are looking a bit flat. So we're going to do the physique update later. What I will do this morning is do a weigh-in for you guys, and that should be interesting. So. This may be the lowest weigh-in I have for the next few months because, you know, if I'm well, if I'm under 100 kg, which I assume I probably would be, uh, that's not what I want to see, man. I, I enjoy being big. I enjoy being a little bit swole. You know, feeling feeling big, feeling like I'm I'm filling out my sleeves and that. Um, but I think that if you know, if I was to eat a thousand grams of carbs right now, and you know, wake up tomorrow morning and go and train, I think the pump will be out of this world and I'll be like, I'd forget all of those small feelings, you know what I mean? Like feeling like I'm small and depleted and things. All it takes is a big refeed and then you're back to normal. So these times when you're dieting, when your head's in the game, when you're really focused, just push through. Push through, make the most of it. You know that all you need to do to fill back out is to eat a thousand grams of carbs and who can't do that? So yeah. That's it. I'll see you guys at the gym for a weigh-in. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Alright guys, so we went down to the gym. Quick voiceover. I just want to show you guys one of my favorite things to do for biceps at the moment. And it is grab a flat bar, a straight bar, and do 21s. So that means 7 half reps at the top, 7 half reps at the bottom and seven full reps. You can do 15s with 555, you can do 21s, you can do 24s, you can do whatever you want. At the moment I'm doing 21s. I'll work my way up, I'll start at 25 kilo, go 30 kilo, 35, and then 40. 40 kilo is an absolute grinder and you're about to see one right now. After this I'll come back to you and uh, give you guys the weigh in at the end of the video. Cheers. Midway through a brutal arm session, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if you can see the vascularity there, but I'm definitely feeling pumped as fuck right now. We've done biceps and we're gonna move on to triceps. Look at that. I got a good pump today. That's a good thing. Um, right now, I'm gonna go and weigh myself, like I said. Just gonna see what I weigh. Take my shoes off. Um, I've got trackies on, probably weigh like 600 grams or something, and this weighs nothing, so let's go.